Have any of you thought of being someone famous when you were growing up? Or maybe that thought was just last week. Where you have all these fans, whether it being a writer, musician, actor, actress, you just have people looking up to you. And it seems like the most ideal situation. Which, in a way, that thought itself can be kind of fun. To think of people looking up to you where you actually have fans. Until you read the next book I'm going to be talking about. Misery. The number one fan doesn't seem so great after you read this book. And that's what I'll be talking about today. So Paul is the writer and Annie is the number one fan. And she doesn't like the ending so much of his new book. So when she comes across him, obviously this is a perfect opportunity to get him to try and write a different ending. Try and make it one that she likes. So why not keep him captive? Right? I mean, that's the most logical thing a fan can do. So if you never heard anything about this book or the movie, this is basically the main premise of it. Paul is stuck. Not just because of his injuries, but because she inflicts more injuries on him until he finally agrees to write a book that she would like. So that is literally this whole book. And I know it doesn't sound like much, but if you haven't read it, then you don't really know what I'm talking about quite yet. The amount of torture that he goes through and the way Stephen King writes it. I mean, anyone who has read Stephen King knows how detailed he can get. And he is very, very detailed with this book. Almost to the point of, I'm almost kind of ashamed to say how much I love it because it's full of torture, but I kind of love it. It's just, it's one of those classic books of his. And so as you're going through, you're kind of cheering him on. You're seeing all these terrible things that he's going through and you want him to escape. The whole time you're kind of in his head you're cheering for him. You're cheering for him to find some way out. That you're just hoping by some miracle he can get up and walk. Yeah. Did I leave that part out? His legs kind of go through a lot. He can't move. And even though Annie, the number one fan, is terrifying... She's kind of a cool character. <laughs> Again, I feel kind of ashamed for saying that because there's just so much to her. It's almost like you can't believe someone like that is just so... I don't know, what's the word? Insane? Insane would be the right word. But it's just every time she comes into the room, you kind of hold your breath. But you kind of want to see what she's going to do next. There's just, there's so much to this book. I can't really describe it without giving any spoilers away. But what I can say about it, and some people don't like it, some people do. I kind of like it. But you get to read what he's writing. The book that she's making him write is also in the book. So you're with him as the person but you also get to read his writing, which I always thought was kind of cool. I liked that. So Stephen King, he writes any kind of scary. He writes a lot of ghost stuff, which most of them are turned into movies. But then he's also written stuff like this, which is just about people. But it's terrifying. It's equally terrifying. And I have tons of Stephen King books. And I think this was one of the first ones that I actually read of his. Not the first one, but one of them. Because I've watched the movie a lot and I wanted to see the comparison with the movie and the book. And to compare the two, I think they're equally scary. I mean, Kathy Bates does an amazing job as Annie. I can't picture anyone else playing her. If you want to be terrified, this is a good book to be terrified with. 
especially if, like I said in the beginning of this video, you're aspiring to be a writer. With this book, I always think, is he worried about this? Is that why he wrote this book? Is he worried about meeting his number one fan and having her or him turning into an Annie? I've always wondered about that. I always thought that if I ever saw Stephen King and didn't run the opposite direction because I was too nervous to talk to him, I would want to tell him that I was his number one fan just to see how he would react. But honestly, I'd probably run in the opposite direction or at least hide. I imagine if I was in a place, like I always imagine if he came to my work and I had a book of his with me, which I always have a book with me just to read on breaks or if it's slow, but if it was one of his, I always got the image in my head of like ducking down, hiding, but throwing his book at him, obviously not intending to hurt him, but with a little post-it saying, sign please, and that would be my way of going up to him. <laughs> Overall, I would say this book is amazing. It keeps you literally on the edge of your seat. You can't put it down. When you do, you're continuously wondering what is happening to Paul. Will he get out? And the intensity in it, it doesn't stop until the very end. Even when it seems like nothing's going on, things are going on. If you're wondering if Paul makes it out, you'll just have to read it. Because I'm going to not tell you any more about it. I don't want to spoil it for you. So do I recommend this book? Yes. Am I Stephen King biased because I'm a big fan of his? Yes. So kind of take that recommendation as you want. So a friend of mine recently asked how many Stephen King books I'm going to review. And I told her all that I have. And this is my collection so far. So I have a lot. There's these that you can see right here. And behind them are also some Stephen King. And then down below, there are some more. So there's a lot more reviews to come of his. So as you can tell, Misery is not the only Stephen King book I'll be reviewing. Everything on that shelf will eventually be reviewed. So let me know in the comments if there's any specific one you see that you want me to review next or read to review. I haven't read all of them yet because the list is insane. I'm not even done buying them yet. My initial goal is to hopefully own all his books. But he writes so much, I don't know if I'll ever get there. But I'm going to try. So let me know. I'll try and get to the ones that you request soon. And I'm going to start posting videos every Friday. I know lately I've just been throwing them out there whenever I finish them. But I'm going to decide to actually stick to a schedule now. So every Friday there will be a new review, a new video up. And I'll kind of sprinkle in Stephen King as I go along. So let me know again in the comments which ones you want me to do next. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe if you want to see those coming up. Alright? See you next time. Bye!